Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank my subscribers, old ones and new ones, and people who are just tuning in. Uh, this week we've got the uh, Dinky Toys Ford GT. Opening front, opening bonnet, sorry, and opening boot. Or engine bay, whichever way you want to call it. Yeah, look. Let's get them open so you can see. There you go. That's what we're dealing with this week. In the white. Have a look at that as it goes around. So this is this week's project. Let's get it off the bench and have a look at it. Okay then, here we are. Dinky Toys 4 GT, number 7, in the white. Red interior. The engine. And tell that's not a bloody engine, you tit. Engine's in the back, stupid. Right, engine's in the back. Don't know what that is in the front. Yeah, it's painted like a bronzy matte gold or something. Not sure what colour that is. Looks like a matte gold in there. But anyway, we'll leave that as it is. Okay, rubber tyres. I'm just looking at these headlights. I don't know what we're going to do with them. Where's, that? where's, me, where's me sticky sticky? I'm going to have to dig them out somehow because they've got... Let me look at the front. They're like a perspex. But if you look closely, I don't know if it'll focus on not being white, but you can see there's all this gunge around here. I don't know if that's glue or or we've got to try and work a way of getting them out. They're there. If you can see that. My dirty hands have been in the garden. Yeah, I've got to get that out. Uh, it looks like the bonnet and the boot, the back and front, hinged via the base. These two are the, as I say, the pointed teats on there. We've got to flatten them out, drill a hole in them. Doors don't open. I don't know what they. There's no door pillars either. I noticed on this on this one. These don't have door pillars. It's moulded in the glass. You see that there? There, it's moulded in the glass. And that's uh, different. Yeah, you can paint them if you wanted to. I don't know. Well, I'll see. Right, what's the back end like? There's the back end. A couple of lights in the back there. Twin exhausts. Front end. Right, that's it then. So we'll get it set up and we'll get this apart. We'll get the tyres off it. Get it sorted out. Okay, catch you in a minute. Right, here we go. I've knocked off the uh, the teats off them. You can see I use this pin vice drill just to drill a hole in the middle there. Well, roughly. I haven't got a, a centre punch thing, so I'll use this. So now I've got my drill, there, and this has got that little point on it in there, so we'll give it a go. Not take too much to start off with. See what I'm... Got the, the drill's not flat, just that I'm going really slow. Back 
do it a bit more. There you go. Right. Just a second, hoover that up. Here comes the dust buster. Who are you gonna call Dustbuster? Right, let's have a look now. Let's get this bad boy up and see what happens. Gingerly take it off. Oh, that's it. No suspension. Bit tight, isn't it? It's die cast. That's a cast base. That. No, it's not tin. That's die cast base. Axles. Straight forward. Right, so can we all see there? This is the front end. Pulls out. Bit like that Volvo I did when I first started. That's that one. And the back, I would imagine, is exactly the same. Yeah, this lifts out. Interior. Looks out. Ah, hang on a minute. Uh -huh -huh. Look at this. Look at this. This is glued in. No rivet in there, buddies. That is glued in. Why would they have done that? That's definitely glued in. It's not been took apart. Oh, no. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Well, that's a close look at that. You see, look at that. That has defo. Uh, you can see where they've glued it. And you can see all this around here where it looks, it's spodged out. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I might be lucky. Oh, hang on, boys. Hang on, boys. Something's coming away. That's that bit come away. Oh, no. Wait one. We might be lucky. I've got my trusty palette knife. Dead thin, this. Let's have a look. See. If you can perhaps get it underneath one of these sides here. Got it. Look at that. Yes. Yeah, that's a glue on it there. So that obviously slides. It's got the notch on it. Look, that slides over there in that notch. So that will go back in. Somehow. And that will grip that. I oh, see. That goes in around there, Nick. Yeah, okay. And that sits on... This sits on the outside. See that? That sits on the outside. What was that dropped off? Yeah, what was that? Put it in there anyway. Yeah, so that windscreen actually fits on the out outer rim along there. There. Okay. I've got it in a bloody car, get it out again now. There you go. Out. Right, that's it. It's ripped. Oak it out then. That's ready for the stripper. I've got to do something with these lights. We'll have to look at that in a minute. Ah, there's a back window as well. What I'm going to do with this. I'm going to drill, grind that out, I think. I'm going to drill that out. We'll have a look. Yeah, I'll have to get my Dremel or something on there and drill that out. Because you can see it's got these little tiny 
rivets on there, they're not very big. We'll do something with them. Right, okay. Let me sort that out then, I'm back in a minute. Right, I've got one headlight out. And what you have to do is uh, peel, there's like a, a gluey sealant on here. Get it all off with your knife, it will come off. Your sharp knife. Get it all off, make sure it's nice and clean around there. Get it all off, so it'll stick in. And then you should be able to push it out with your screwdriver. I did the other one. There you go, pop. Turn it over. And just pull it out. Job done. There you go. Both them out. Right, so that can be stripped. Just got to do this back end now, but the battery on my phone is flashing low, so I'm going to go and charge it. Catch you in a minute. Right, here we go. Caustic soda time. Kettle's just boiled. All the gear's in there. Let's get some hot water in. See how we get on. Here we go. Better put the fan on, don't I? I'm forget forgetting that these days. There you go. Right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. tougher than normal this one looking at it normally coming off by now Need a little bit extra. Yep, it's coming off the base. Right, we'll leave that cook for a while and then we'll get it out and uh, we'll get it uh, cleaned up. And I'll see you in a minute. Right, we're all cleaned up and uh, it's quite, quite nice. So I'm holding the camera at the moment. Um, yeah, I didn't use a Dremel this time bit nice bit of detail on the back there and the engine Little gearbox exhaust springs headers don't know quite a lot what this lot is at the front here but we'll have a look I've decided I'm gonna um I'm not going to paint the engine the goldy colour again. Uh, I know this is a restoration and it's supposed to be this that colour, but uh, I just can't. I can't get past, I can't get my head round, not put a bit of detail on the engine. I'm sorry, guys, but, you know, you purists amongst you, I'm sorry, but it has to be done. Dinky put the detail in, so at least I can do is make it look a bit better than what it was. So that's that. There's the base. Get around the right way so you can read it. Four GT. And what I used was use this old cheapo from the uh anyway you can get these pound shop whatever. And I also used this 
I've had this for a long time. This is what you use for um, cleaning your suede shoes or your suede boots. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, I've been ahead and washed the window screen, washed the interior and washed the lights. That was okay. And um, in the last segment, I was getting this window out the back here. I didn't need to drill the rivets or anything like that. I just got my um, thin pallet knife and slid it underneath. And it's not rigid plastic. And it just uh, it worked itself over the top. So that was great. So hopefully it'll go about the same way. All right. Now we do get some primer on. Okay, doke. See you in a bit. All right, that's all the uh, primer on. I've done it in white because the car is going to be white, so I thought I'd give it a uh, a white primer base. So yeah, that'll help with the with the deep lines. So there you go. So we're now going to go over and uh, paint this, paint this white. Okay, so it's just going to be plain white. I'm not going to bother to film that bit. It's just plain white spray. Okay, so I'm going to spray it white and give it a coat of lacquer and I'll get back to you when it's uh, when it's ready to be, when it's dry, shall I say. See you in a bit. Right, okay. Right, there was a bit of a cock up on there on the camera. It went um, all that bluey green like it does sometimes. I've had to restart the camera, but I didn't realise until I went to play this back that it done that. So I've done some details on here so far. I've done a few little bits and bobs on there. This is all lacquered and been hardened off for 24 hours. So, okay. So that's just napping up a little bit of that as well. Because I was doing all right with that. So, I've done the these dull aluminium. So I'm now going to do the gearbox in ordinary aluminium. Oh, look at that. Got a bugger. So we'll see how we get on with this. See how we get on with this. So that's the delete that footage but I will do it okay. it's all greeny blue you can't hardly see anything it looks crap which is a bit disappointing but there you go that's the joys that's the joys that is the joys <laughs> so we'll get some of this done It's a bit cooler today. I've got the shed door shut. So, I like that. Last couple of days it's been cold and rainy. So, we'll get this, this done. around here so like I said before I like to do my detail detailing over the lacquer paint it just seems to work better for me uh, the smoothness the brush goes over the area a lot smoother but that's just my personal preference it is I haven't seen the film yet, with uh, Le Mans film, the new one out. I haven't seen that yet, but I'd like to see it. I would like to see it. So I shall get it when it comes out on DVD.
Okay, now. We're getting there, fellas. We're getting there. As I always say, I'm not going to show you all the be painting all the details because it will take too long and it's be a video in itself. Because you know me. So I'll just do a little bit more on here and then you can see it when it's finished. And I'll talk you through what I've painted and what colours I've done it in. Well, that's the gearbox tunnel. Trouble is, when you're doing white, you get a really white out, don't you? Right, okay, I'm going to leave it there with you. I'll come back to you when it's done and I'll talk you through what I've done. Okay, look then. I've just a second finished the details. As you can see. I think it's quite nice. Let me see. A bit closer. Got blue headers. Aluminium gearbox. Exhaust manifolds coming out, various bits and pieces, bump stops for the hood in black. At the front I've done the battery, various pipes and things there. I haven't gone over the top with it, but there you go, that's what it's, that's what I've done. There, and what else have I done? Oh, yeah, I've done the fuel for... Oh, shit. That's me being hasty. Done a fuel filler caps. You see them? And the, and the clips, bonnet clips. And on the back, and the lights. I've done the, the mesh grill. I've done it in a, a dark aluminium, and then just dry brushed a bit of light over the top. Done the exhaust. Yeah, so there you go. So now I'm not going to touch that. I was going to put the decals on, but I'm going to leave that, let it completely dry before I put the decals on, which will be times it now. It's getting on for lunch now, so it'll probably be tomorrow now. Okay, well, that's it. I'm sorry I didn't do all that detail on the camera, but it's took me nearly two hours off and on to do this. So that would have been a lot of video footage. And I'm not one for doing time lapse, and I think it makes your eyes go a bit wappy. So, there you go. And I'll catch up with you when we're doing the decals, okay? Okay, we're doing the uh, decals this morning. I've made a start. Um, got the seven on there. Both sides. I've just got a few more in my tray. I'm doing so this might be a bit slow doing this because uh, you need to take your time when you're doing the decals I've got my settings I've got my solutions I use micro set to put it down with and then if you want if it's got any tight curves and stuff I use a bit of micro sole which is a bit stronger and I use that to get around curves and bends and things so at the minute I'm doing the roof so I'm just gonna I've, I've got some micro set on there. Get my tweezers out. So far these decals have been good. They've been alright. Says he. I'm going to try and get that down the middle, best I can.
Rolling that up. You just dab it a little bit with a cotton bud or a, you can get a bit of kitchen roll or something that soaks the, the excess off. Just try and keep that in the middle. You can, if you want to, roll it a little bit, but be very careful you don't move it. Right, okay. So I'll leave this to one side now because that's the decals done on that. And hopefully it'll all line up. If their casting lines are right, then we'll be bang on. Right, next one I've got in is the bonnet one. So we'll just put a bit of micro set on there. Just put it on there. That was it move around a little bit and it can set it as well. It doesn't do any harm to the paint, so you're all right. We're all right. There's always a bit of nerve wracking putting decals on because you never know how they're going to go. Especially with so many different suppliers out, so many different suppliers out there. Some have got it right and some haven't. As if you've watched my previous videos, you'll see. So let's just have a look, see if it moves. Yeah, that's put movement on it. Get it around the right way. All right. Let's see what happens here. It's still a bit. Gonna put some more liquid on there to help it move a bit. It's grabbing it at the minute. Let's get it down a bit more. Right, let's just check with this a minute. Pretty much there, don't it? What do you reckon, boys? Could do a good over a fraction, couldn't it? I think. I'll get it over without buggering it up. Oops. It's maybe a bit too far. Huh? So we'll have a look. That's better. Right. That's that. Dab a bit off here. Better dab it off. It's moving, though, isn't it? Let's double checker. Double check, boys. I think they're nearly there. Right, we'll leave that because if we keep mucking about with it, we'll end up ruining it. Right, let's do the back end. I like to cut these, trim these decals down because they're a bit long, really. Just dump, help that out a little bit. They were, they were a bit long. So, and I've got a an itchy ditchy tiny bit just over here look what i'm pointing that's the go where did it i was gonna have it there on the, on the back here there that's where that's gonna go so we'll keep that in place there for a moment yeah, it's looking pretty good i think so far boys pretty good Whoa. a bit chilly this morning i tell you Get rid of that, don't need that rubbish, don't need that rubbish. 
It's a bit chilly this morning. I haven't bothered putting the heater on because once I've done this, I'm going to bugger off for a bit and come back and finish it when it's all dried. When it's all dried. Let's see. Get in there. Go on, sponge it off a little bit. There you go. Yeah, I've got it in my, on my sponge. Well, this is seven minutes already, so I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to turn the camera off. Right, this should be around about right now. Yeah. Okay, I've just popped that on there. Be the old micro. This has got to go over the back here, so that should be interesting. So I'll make sure I've got plenty of this on. All right, see if we can get this right, shall we? See if we can get this right. Yeah, that's gone over the back. That's cool. I'm just going to pull it up a fraction. I can trim that. I can trim this. I can trim that edge off when it's dried out. Now we've got to see whether or not it lines up with this bit. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will, chaps. Yeah, it's not too bad. Could go over a bit. There you go. I would say that I guess that'd be about right. I'll get me a little bit. The hands on it. God, it's a bit tricky this one. Come on, you bugger. Yeah. Put that on there. Take that off for a sec. You can. Just tuck that under there a little bit. That's cock eye there, look. So we just. Pen that a bit. Cock it under. And I might be able to do the same with this, actually. Cock that under there. So I've gone jumping about with the camera. In and out of, in and out of shot. I know it's only probably two around and say, well, you should have put it all together first. But what would have happened then? Oh, come on, you tit. With the, every time I moved it around, it would open and shut and I'll be flapping about all over the place. Yeah, that's all right. That's cool. Right, we'll get my micro set this is the red one this is a lot stronger and basically when you put this on you don't really want to be touching your decal
what this does it heats it up and softens it really really well to conform to your bends and your curves so we'll drop that in there and then we'll leave it okay right let's try the little bit now It's all going on boys, it's all going on. Right, I think we might be lined up pretty good. Yeah. Right, okay, I'll leave it there. You've basically seen it all now anyway, so... That's 13 minutes, that one. Bloody hell. Catch you in a bit. Okay, then. It's assembly time. Right. We're ready to go. What I've done, because I did a, spent a long time doing the decals, I've uh, gone ahead and put the glass in. Straightforward. Slide this in through the front, because it catches on there. So you slide that through the front. Done that. Put the back glass, oh, hang on, put the back glass back in, that's in, so drop the glue on there, uh, and put the headlights back in, I haven't glued these in, I just pushed them in because they're quite a tight fit, so I've just pushed them back in, right, so now we've got to get this bad boy together, right, first of all, get the interior in, in there, uh, hook the front over, just sits over the front there, hook the back over, like so, drop the axles in, front, two, now with the base obviously, uh, this is the back bit, where the, where the slot's right at the back, so, Turn that over. Drop that in. Okay, here we go. Rivet glue in time. Now I've got, instead of just pouring it straight out of the tube, I've got my little needle thing on the end here, which is quite good. You can have a little drop, so you can watch it come down the tube, and you can put a little drop in or a big drop or whatever you want. So I drop that in there. Pick these up. Push that in. That's one. Make sure it goes right in. Spin around. And do the back end. Right, there you have it. Done. That didn't take long, did it? 
it all works. Hopefully. Yeah. I'll give that a little bit of time to set up solid. And then we'll get it on the magic roundabout and uh, we'll see what we got. See you in a second. This is what we started with. Dinky Toys 4GT. Play worn. There we have it. This is what we started with. Okie dokie then. Here we go. On the magic roundabout. Dinky Toys GT. 4GT. In the white with the blue racing stripes. Number 7 as you can see. Done a bit of detail on it. It looks quite nice. Very nice. Decals went on well, actually. Better than I had hoped. Because sometimes you never know with these decals. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And there she goes. Beautiful. Take a minute to take it all in. Window come up nice. Yeah. Pleased with this one. Right, so let's have it down. See you go around again. See you can see through the back window there, look. Look at that. What a beast of an engine. What a beast. Nice clean wheels. Oh, I've got a bit of muck on that. Got a little bit of dirt on that. I'll clean that off in a minute. Headlights nice and clean and clear. Very sleek. There you go. Right. That's this week's done then. Okay, we're going to love you and leave you. Onwards and upwards to the next one. And we'll see you again shortly. Have fun, everybody, and happy restoring. There you go. Bye for now.